Morning, everybody. Good morning. You're not very really straight, are you? Let's, let's try and straighten you up a little bit. How are we all doing? Uh, yeah, really good night's sleep. I'm going to turn those hazards off. Really good night's sleep at truck stop, Route 74. Uh, obviously, it's a truck stop, so there are trucks going in and out. But, um, yeah, it was mostly quite quiet, to be honest with you, so not too bad. Right, let's go. We've got to get a move on. Daily checks are done. Everything is good. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people sort I think they sort of started about six o'clock, half five, six o'clock, most people started. So um, I got up at quarter past six because uh, I went to bed anyway at like eight o'clock last night. So I had plenty of sleep and uh, just basically chilled out for a little bit, but could do with waking up a little bit more. Where is he going? I'm pretty sure I saw a video from Trucker J and he parked up down here along this back wall. I'm pretty sure I saw that. I might, I am going the right way out, and I? Because people seem to be going that way. I'm sure I saw trucks come out this way. I reckon it's because there's a queue, look. There's a queue of trucks. Okay, we're going out that way then. Got enough room to swing around. Yeah, it looks like uh, there's a there's a queue of trucks there to get on the pumps and can't get out. But uh, I did think about turning right out of where I was, but the tail swing would have hit the truck. So we'll go this way. Not a problem. Just making sure everyone is okay. Oh. And that's where we parked, just there on the right-hand side, look. Yeah, this is the way people are going out, look. Lovely jubbly. Anyway, ETA is 8 o'clock to our destination. 8 o'clock is also our booking in time. Um, to be honest with you, I wanted to get there 5 minutes early, 10 minutes early perhaps, but uh, time just kind of snuck up on me. <laughs> uh, I went to the shop and got a drink. And then I come back. I'd, I'd, I'd done my checks. I come back. I was like, oh, I better get a move on. <laughs> so, yes. Never mind. But yeah, um, I'm going to turn this light off. I'll leave it on the red one. But uh, yeah, sleep wise was pretty decent. Plenty of rest for the day ahead. Got to do two drops. One in Grangemouth, which is where we're going first, then one in Livingstone. Uh, and then we've got to make our way back down south again. And I'm assuming I'm picking something up. But I don't know what yet or where. But uh, that's the plan. That's the plan. Anyway, oh man, it started raining. I'll see you in a bit. pretty cool that is pretty cool we're just gonna turn left here it's two horses two horse heads wow they're massive that's pretty cool bit of a distraction but pretty cool <laughs> anyone know anything about those horse heads and what they mean that'd be interesting to know right anyway we're coming off now we need to indicate right Probably need to get into the right hand side of the lane, but I will just hang fire just in case. We're indicating right regardless. Yeah, see, you can go right even in the left lane. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. Giggity, right. Just watch out for this blue car on my right hand side. Excellente. Okay, we need to get in this lane now. Put our lane. Yeah, so uh, as there's literally just around here, hang on. HCV deliveries this way, yep, cool. I was gonna say, I thought it was around this way, looking at Google Maps. 
but just had to read that sign and double check. Uh, just gone, just gone 10 to 8, so hopefully they get us in. Uh, we only need 13 pallets taken off, which are those uh, kitchen wares. I had a look in the in at the invoice and I basically got oven tray pans and woks and saucepans and stuff like that. So uh, nothing too valuable. It's just basically just kitchen wear, that's all it is. Pots and pans, literally delivering their pots and pans to Asda. So if you buy a pot or pan anywhere in Scotland from Asda in the next couple of weeks, chances are it come off my lorry. <laughs> And uh, if you buy anything from Tesco's in Scotland, well, buy any hay, that is, then uh, turns out that cut off my lorry as well. <laughs> right. I do hope it's not that busy in there. Please don't be busy. I want to get in and out. In and out, do the next delivery, and then make our way down south. Uh, I don't know what we're doing yet. I can't imagine we're going all the way back empty, so. We'll, uh, oh, McLaren. As the McLaren. That's cool. As the ADC. Doesn't look too busy yet, but you know, that could change. That could change. As the supply vehicle, supply vehicle, yeah, we we are supply vehicles. Uh, I think we've got to get out and speak to him. Right, let's go give them some paperwork and see what they've got to say. Morning. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Not just yourself. Got 13 pallets there, bud, to come off. Watch some pans. That's it. Just what we need. <laughs> And uh, just come around here, we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 pallets. So yeah, now they're going to come off and then uh, we'll put some straps over the hay again, going across the ass ends and then we can crack on to our next stop. So, just got to wait for these to come off now. Okay, we're tipped. We've been stationary 15 minutes, bang on 15 minutes. Uh, and this has already gone green as well, so um, we shouldn't have to park up. It went green just before I got out and done my curtains up. So I don't think I have to park up. So we might get in trouble in a minute. <laughs> anyway, face mask, we need that. And we need that, number 71 everything we need so yeah he did say park up and get your paperwork so, and then park up wait for this to go green and then, and then get your paperwork at the end but like i said it's already gone green so we just head straight down if they tell me to go somewhere else i will ba, 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 ba. all right be right back Take this mask off. Ugh. Seat belt. Ugh. Okay, and away we go. And we've got a 38 minute drive to our next destination. We're now going to Tesco's. Uh, so yeah, that was done very quick. Uh, matey boy comes up to me in a forklift. He goes, are you done? That's my Scottish accent, by the way, I do apologise. Are you done? I was like, I don't know, mate. He said, no one's told me I'm done. He goes, I think we're done. It's all right. So I jumped out. I said, yeah, I'm done, mate. He said, uh, no one told me, but yeah, cheers, mate. But yeah, it was so quick. I only counted like five, maybe six lifts. Because you do try and count. 
I was like, well, I've got 13 to come off, so I think I'm only half, half empty, do you know what I mean? Anyway, when I was doing my curtains up, I wasn't really concentrating on the, the forklift itself. I was just like, you could feel things come off you. Um, so I wasn't actually looking at the forklifter, I was just feeling. That man's let me out. Uh, and I only felt five, maybe six um, lifts. Uh, anyway, turns out when I was, do when I was doing my, my curtains up, uh, I was looking at the forklift uh, doing the other guy, and they take two pallets off at a time, so it makes sense. Must have been seven lifts that they did, uh, and six of them were doubles, if that makes sense. Right, we want to go left here. Lights are staying green, excellent. 8, 9.05. I've got to be careful in Scotland because obviously the speed limits are different, uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, single carriageways in England and Wales, you can do 50 miles an hour in a truck. If it says, if it says a national speed limit, which is the white sign with a black diagonal cross, uh, in a car, uh, sorry, in a lorry, on a single carriageway in England, that's 50 miles an hour speed limit. In a, in a lorry in Scotland, that's 40 miles an hour speed limit. So I've uh, got to be careful not to go faster than 40 miles an hour uh, anywhere, basically, <laughs> unless I'm on a motorway. Ambulance come in. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna make our way to uh, to uh, Tesco's now. I've only got the hay on. I don't even feel like it's much lighter. It feels like the same to me. It's a light load all the way, so. So yeah, let's crack on. Let's get to Tesco's. Actually, that's that's a problem. We're an hour early. Our time slot's between 10 and 12, and our ETA is nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go there anyway and try. But they might tell me to go around the corner and wait. <laughs> we'll have to see. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, we're now just around the corner from our second delivery, Tesco's. Uh, as I said earlier, so we're actually an hour early, so uh, it doesn't doesn't say anything on the paperwork that I've got what time to be delivering. Uh, the email I got says between 10 and 12, but the paperwork doesn't have any delivery time on, so I'm just gonna turn up and uh, see if we can get it tipped off early. There's no harm in asking. If they tell me to go around the corner or whatever and wait, then I will. Like, I would have had to wait anyway, regardless. But if I can get in early, that saved me an hour. An hour. I haven't, I haven't looked yet to see how long it takes to get back to the yard. Um, I don't think I am going straight back to the yard anyway, but um, it's going to be a good five, six hour drive back. So um, the earlier I can get this tip, the earlier I can get back, basically. So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. It's definitely not as warm today, though, as it was yesterday. Well, it's raining for starters. <laughs> right, let's get into Tesco's. Tesco's supply vehicles, yeah, that's the entrance. Okie dokie. Yeah. Tesco supply of vehicles, we are supplying some hay. All vehicles, lane one, supply of deliveries, lane two and three. But supply can go in lane one as well. Oh, well, yeah, I was told by uh, Trucker Jenko that this is automated. Uh, gonna get in the right hand side one. So because it's automated it might not let me in because I'm too early. This could be a pain. Okay, what we got here? I'm English. Oh yeah, mate. Yeah, I've got a delivery of uh, Tesco bedding hay, but I don't have a, uh, an order reference starting with LC. Uh, right, you hate, what you hate today is phone up your company and get the LC number, Paul. Okay, will do. Okay. All right, cheers, mate. Okay. Uh, please proceed to Goodwood Base 76. These numbers better start climbing up quickly. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to be where I think it is. Should be about halfway down here, according to the photo I've got. Oh, uh, where is the goods in office? That's a long walk. Parker zone, parker zone. Oh, no, goods in office is in the middle, so it should be quite close to it. 
76, I want. There's a goods in office, it should be before that, 76, according to the picture I took. Oh yeah, it jump. Does it jump up? No, it doesn't. I thought it jumped up. Yeah, it does, 51 to 55, yeah. Massive jump up there. 76, so I want 76. 76, 76, 76. Next to that truck there. Annoying. It's because I can't open my doors next to him. Uh, yeah, gotta open, gotta open my doors first, and then I can undo the curtain on the side. And the goods in office is literally there, look, next to me there. Not far to walk at all. I will take a couple of shunts at this because uh, I am well out of practice with my reversing. I seriously, seriously need to do a little bit better on the reversing at the moment. I used to be really good. At the moment, I am shocking. And I'm man enough to admit it. straight either, but we're getting that. Okay, right, now I'm going to open up the curtains and undo the straps. Okay, so, everything's undone. I just now need to reverse onto the back door. There we go, we're on the back door now. Oh, he rolled forward ever so slightly then. I'm going to go back a bit more. There we go. Okay, so, lights off, hazards off, engine off. We now need to go hand the keys in and uh, maybe stay in there for a little bit. It's a bit annoying, but never mind. See you in a bit. And uh, yeah, we're done. We do have a reload and uh, we're reloading literally just two miles down the road. So it's like as good as a collection as you can get. Um, Apparently it's half a load as well, so it shouldn't be too heavy. I don't know what exactly it is yet. And it's going to Sheffield. The only problem is it is booked for tomorrow. So um, we are gonna we are gonna go there tonight, slash this afternoon, and try and get it off today. But uh, there is a chance that we won't. So we could be on another night out tonight. That's not a problem. No problemo. Quite a big place though, this. This Tesco uh, RDC. Do we go around here? It says it was a one-way system, but uh, I'm going to guess, judging by this, that we don't go down here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. See, I've never been here before, so I don't know. So it looks like we're spinning around and going back the other way. Nice for somebody to tell me. 
Okay, I need that my start jackknife. There we go. Yeah, the map that I uh, took a photo of on the main screen says it's a one-way system. That uh, it can't get down there, so obviously it's not. We'll go this way, and uh, hopefully we don't get told off. <laughs> All I'll do is I'll get way away from uh, any bays. But yeah, like I said, if no one tells you this, you know, you're gonna you're gonna go up there and you're gonna go round the one-way system, aren't you? Uh, never mind. Uh, as for locking the cab, again, the screen says lock the cab. Go and hand your paperwork in. Blah blah blah. You get in there, and then it says don't lock your cab. You need to sit in your cab. I'm assuming because of COVID. So then I had to go all the way back out. I had to unlock my cab, come back again. So. I mean, overall, it's not been a bad experience here, to be honest with you. It's been all right, but just a little bit more communication with drivers could be quite nice. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, let's go get this collection. Apparently, only seven minutes till we're there. So, nice and quick. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's get our next collection. Go right around this roundabout. We're looking for spring distribution. Spring distribution. You're indicating that. I had a quick look at Google reviews, they've only got three stars. And uh, apparently there's a lady there who's very rude. <laughs> so we, we will see. I don't let anything like that, like, get in the way of how I'm going to act. Do you know what I mean? Like, you always go into a place like you would anywhere. Do you know what I mean? You just be yourself and be polite. You know, just because I've read somewhere that the lady is supposedly extremely rude doesn't mean I'm going to go in with an attitude. So, yeah, is that a green for me to go right? Okay, they now decide to go. It does say pick up 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Are we parking to the Hello? Hi, uh, good morning. I'm here to collect some stuff to go to Sheffield. Right, you know, it's the journey to twelve o'clock. Okay. What would, you, what would you like me? What would you like me to do? Can I get loaded anyway, or do you want me to wait? No, you'll need to come back. The stuff's we're doing a handball container at the moment. Baron Wood would advise twelve o'clock. Okay. Um, am I all right to park up in here until twelve? No, no. I'll need to. You'll need to go to the yard again. We can't have anything parked up in it. I'll open the gate. The, the bottom gate it just works in the same stuff, and if you come back about quarter to twelve. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Cheers. Okay, I'm waiting until uh, 12 o'clock. So it does say 12 o'clock on here, so. Never mind, we're going to have a long break somewhere, ideally as close as possible. And then, um, yeah, so that's a shame. No, it all looks good, mate, it all looks good. Right, double strap to each one. Apparently they have a tendency to slide. Crisscrossed on the back too as well. And then one on the pallet just to stop that from sliding. If I go around the other side. There we go, crisscrossed on the back. Good. Okay, you join me at quarter to two in the afternoon. <laughs> oh my God. Quarter to two. Just say bye. We got here at 10 a.m. 11, 12, 1, nearly four hours. It's three hours, 45 minutes, isn't it? Been here nearly four hours. Uh, so as you heard on the gate, she said come back at 12, and then she said quarter to 12. So I parked around the corner, had a break, and uh, come back in at quarter to 12, thinking, you know, oh, that thing's lifted up there, thinking, oh, great. They get me in at quarter to twelve, they start loading me. Nope. I didn't start getting loaded until quarter past one. I was in the holding area for an hour and a half. Not good. <laughs> anyway, this is going to Sheffield. Uh, the actual destination it's going to is five hours and 20 minutes away from where we are right now. And our current ETA there is gone 7 p.m. tonight. Now, that's not including the fact that it's over five hours away and I, I can only do four and a half hours driving and there's going to be rush hour traffic so I'm going to have to stop for a break on the way down 
which means my ETA is going to be more like 8 p.m. to uh, to where I need to be. Um, I don't know what time they close. I haven't actually checked. Let me just pull over a sec. I just want to check real quickly because I just Googled them. I never check what time they close. If they're 24 hours, then I'll probably try and get off tonight. Yeah, it's booked in for 9 a.m. tomorrow. Reference 2125. So, I doubt I'll be able to get it off tonight anyway, even if I wanted to. Anyway, anyway the situation is this. So, we we need to stop for a break. Uh, there's a, there's a uh, truck stop on the A1. Can't remember what it was called now. It was called, what was it called? What was it called? What was it called? I'm trying to think what it was called now. I don't know, I can't remember. But it's on the it's on the A1. A1M. Um, and it takes snap. So that's the one we're gonna go to. I think it's in Leeds or just, just outside Leeds or something, on the way down. Where if we do park there and we gotta we gotta stop there anyway for, for the break. Because it's kind of like it's on we've got to pass it to get to our destination. So I might as well stop there. Because uh, we're gonna be there at half past five, which is 184 miles away, three hours and 41 minutes. So I might have to stop there anyway. Well, I, I am gonna stop there anyway. It's just wherever I stop there, have a break and then carry on. Or wherever I stop there and stay there. <laughs> That's the, uh, the the decision I gotta make. Uh, Coney Garth, Coney Garth Services, A1, X or B. That's where it is. So yeah, we, we may we may stop there, we may not. We'll have to have to wait and see. Apparently you've got 140 spaces there, I believe. 150, something like that. Uh, so it's quite a big, quite a big truck stop. So anyway, that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to head straight there. Going to go out of Scotland, head back into to England, park there, and then have a break. And then it's whether we uh, continue or not and park up outside where we need to be tonight. Which is a possibility we might do that. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But it will be a late finish, and, and uh, yeah, got to be careful on the old working time. Uh, I think the card went in at half seven. Was it half seven? I, I can't, do you know what? I just I generally can't remember. When I stop and have a break, I do a printout and just find out. <laughs> right, let's just crack on. I don't really know much at the moment. I'm just driving to my destination. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Just away from leaving Bar Resting Area, which is where we're stopping for tonight. Uh, the app says it was called Coney Graph Services. <laughs> so, um, yes, they take snap. Uh, I phoned up and uh, apparently it won't be busy. She said, what time will you be turning up? I said, about half past five. Oh, yeah, won't be busy by then. So, anyway, it's quarter to six. <laughs> I had to stop and get some fuel on the way uh, at BP Garage. There is a Shell Garage here, but at the moment BP is cheaper for us, so um, I had to stop at BP on the way. So yes, we are stopping here for tonight. Apparently there's a diner here as well called Diner 51. I'm looking forward to some nice hot food, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, so yeah, I haven't really discussed about the pallets. So the pallets I got on, uh, they're, they're relatively light pallets, um, but they're also pallets that apparently shift quite a bit. Um, 
which is why I've used the internals on them. I've, I've double strapped each one crisscrossed uh, in the hope that it's going to stop it better than a ratchet strap because I'm not wearing a, the pallet ain't going to move. It, it's the load itself which is going to move. And I think one one strap ratchet over and then going back over again, I don't think it's going to really do anything more different than what an internal will. So um, I'm using the internals and hopefully they're going to be okay. Um, and I'm using two per pallet just, just to be extra safe as well. So yeah, but yeah, the, the bloke there that was, uh, well, not the bloke that was loading me, but there was another bloke watching it being loaded, wait, waiting to see if there was any damage, and then he took photographs just to see, just to show basically that there was no damage before it left, because apparently they've, they've done it in the past, and it's turned up, and um, the loads have shifted, and blah, 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 blah. So we're like, I'm driving as slow as I can, not too slow, you know, I've got to get to places, you know, I'm trying to break much more in advance rather than breaking harshly and oh my god that looks busy okay yeah we're not going to be busy apparently there's a few trucks in there <laughs> we're um we're on four hours drive time so we we can drive for another half an hour but um we might need to stop here for a 45 well sorry for a 30 minute because we had a 15 minute in earlier so we might need to stop for 30 minutes, but hopefully we can park up. That's the plan. Okay, okay, okay. There's that diner. It doesn't look anywhere near as big as I thought it was. Clear on the left. Right, there's, yeah, there's, there are spaces here. Trailer change, don't want to park there. That's going to be noisy over here. There's a space right there. They refrigerated vehicles, we don't want to park there either. Or do we? <laughs> refrigerated parking. Uh, sometimes the noises are quite nice, to be fair. Uh, short vehicles, we're not short. There's uh, there, yeah, there's there's parking. Just got to find the right space. Where's he going? Just got to find a space. Yep, we're all good. We're just going to reverse back ever so slightly. So. Uh, My doors don't hit the mirrors in the morning of the truck next to me. That'll do. Steering wheel straight. And parked up for another night. Here we go. Yeah, I just gotta do some paperwork because I've not done any paperwork for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll do some paperwork and then uh, and then I'm going to clock off and go and get something to eat. So yeah, see you in a bit. Right, good morning everybody. Welcome back. We are uh, just leaving this truck stop. Ugh. I had an alright sleep. It took me a while to get to sleep last night. Not because it was noisy or anything. Just, uh, it's just the way it was. Just couldn't get to sleep last night, but uh, we never mind. Anyway, we're up now. It's it's literally seven o'clock. Uh, all our checks are done. Uh, it was relatively quiet here. I mean, obviously, at a certain point, trucks start up and obviously go to work. As you can see, it's a lot less busier now than what it was um, when I got here. So um, yeah, but that, that's that's sort of expected. So all the trucks starting up around about sort of five, six o'clock. That's normal. Apart from that, uh, yeah, good night's sleep. I had some food at the Dino 51 there. Sausage, egg, chips and beans. Uh, I sat on a bench. He brought it out to me and uh, I ate some food. So that was nice. And then, uh, yeah, I basically come back to the bed, uh, to the truck, got dressed for bed and went to sleep pretty much. <laughs> Um, today, the plan is today is to drop this load off in Sheffield. We then need to go to, oh, where did he say we've got to go to? I think it was Pollington. 
H and H, you know, the, like the bricks. Uh, we've got to pick up some bricks from there and then uh, a full load. And then we're taking it to Travis Perkins in Molnesbury, which I've been to before in the past. Very tight there, actually, very tight. One of those sites where you've got to do one side, then move over and do the other side. And then from there, we are going back to the yard, pretty much. Whether we're getting loaded first or not, I don't know. For the, for the morning, we might have to go to Tetbury to get loaded for the morning. Or it might be a case of going to South Cerny, where we are based, and getting loaded out of there for the morning. Or if we're very late, then it's just a case of going straight back to the yard and then get loaded in the morning. Either way, current plan is we're home tonight. So that's nice, because obviously I've not been home since Monday. <laughs> and it's Wednesday now, so that would be nice. That would be nice. But anyway, we'll, uh, we're going to carry on now. We've got an hour and 40 minutes, give or take, to get to our um, destination. We've got a booking time of 9 a.m. and our current ETA is 20 to 9, so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll be there all right. I am expecting traffic to build up a little bit on the way, but um, hopefully not too much. And because we've only got nine pallets to come off, I'm hoping they can come off quite quickly. And I've been speaking to Trucker Jenko, um, and uh, this place we're going to, although they load you quite quickly, normally you're queuing to get out. So presumably where everybody's strapping up because yeah, I'm going to need a few straps to get it all strapped up. But yeah, so that's the plan today. Right, let's get crack a lack in. Uh, get to our first job this morning, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. Here's one for the lonely hearts, for the ones that fear the dark. You better run out, run out, out of here. Bet you can look the other way. Here's one for the broken road. That's the only one you know. You better run out, run out, truth or dare. Get me out, take me. One for the lonely hearts, for the ones that fear the dark. You better run out, run out, out of here. Bet you can look the other way. Here's one for the broken road. That's the only one you know. You better run out, run out, truth or dare. Get me out, take me anywhere but here. Okay, you join me less than a mile away from our destination, where we need to be. What was the company called again? I can't remember what they're called now. It begins with an M. <laughs> Lollipop, lady. Yeah. One of my most recent videos, I said Lollipop, didn't I? <laughs> Mondelez is the company name we're going to. Mondelez. Now, looking at the map, there's potentially two different ways into this site. Uh, but they've got different postcodes, and the postcode I've got takes you into this entrance, so hopefully I'm going to go in the right entrance. Um, but it looks like you've got to turn right, and the security looks like there's security fences there when you turn right. Um, but I won't be able to get the lorry parked up at the security fence without blocking the whole road. So I think I'm going to have to park sort of at a, a right angle to the gates potentially go and see security and then tell him who I am. Why are you led on the floor, mate? You right? Uh, I think they're on the phone to an ambulance there. Hopefully, hopefully he's all right. Um, so yeah, what I was saying, yeah, security. I might have to get out and speak to security before I actually go up to the gate, but we'll, uh, we'll make that judgment call when I get there. Also looking on the street view yesterday, because I was contemplating coming to park in here um, last night. But there's loads of cars parked up on the on the street view. Now at night, that would probably be like after five o'clock. Probably would be quiet. But um, during the day or now, there's going to be a few cars there, I reckon. Anyway, we're booked in for nine o'clock. It's uh, twenty-five to nine now. By the time we get through security, it'll be gone twenty to nine. But and it looks like quite a big place as well. So by the time we're parked up, it could be like quarter to nine. Um, so hopefully they can get us tipped quite quickly, hopefully. Is that, what's that, is that a stadium or something? Anyway, we need to start indicating left. 
something to do with animals. And and miss, no, maybe not animals. The owls. She oh, Sheffield Wednesday. Okay, <laughs> it is a football stadium. Right, this is a naughty left-hand turn. I need to get out a little bit to make the turn. That's not to hit any cars. There we go. Excellent, eh? Sheffield Wednesday Stadium then, there you go. Burger van there, Scott would be happy. Yeah, so I probably could have parked up here last night, but never mind. I parked where there was secure parking. Yeah, if all these cars were gone, look, there's no lines or anything, so I would have just parked up somewhere here. But never mind. Anyway, we need to go straight down here by the looks of it. Okay, I've just undone the curtains. None of them have moved, so that's good. The, blo <laughs> the bloke just said that. But I'm, I'm being made to wear this mask. The bloke who uh, just saw me open the curtain, he said, uh, that's the most straps I've ever seen on one of the loads. <laughs> Happy days. But yeah, they're all still in one piece. That's the main thing. I'm uh, just gonna undo the rest of them now. Uh, undo all the uh, straps, get it offloaded, and then uh, we can carry on with the day. See you in a bit. Right, we are now tipped. And this mask can come off. <coughs> oh, I can breathe now. Those masks. I oh, you know they're for a reason, but they enough to make it hard to breathe, for me anyway. Okie dokie, we are just around the corner from where we need to be. I think I've come in the long way. Uh, there was a truck that turned right onto, I think it was called Long lane or long road or something uh, but I, I thought there was a weight limit down there so I'd come this way under the low bridge never mind it takes, it takes about five minutes longer but we'll get there eventually uh, the, the only problem is time is starting to become a bit of a problem it's half well nearly half ten by the time we get there it'll be half ten um, I'd like to be gone by 12, really. I know that gives me like an hour and a half to get loaded, but we'll have to wait and see. It's quite a long drive back down to where I need to be. Um, Travis Perkins Day Day deliveries after four o'clock, so I know that for a fact. But I'll, um, I'll probably give them a shout, give them a phone call to say I'm on my way anyway. But when I'm a bit closer, when I'm like an hour away or something, maybe, maybe an hour and a half, and uh, see what they say. I, I've literally got to pass my yard to get there. So what I don't want is to get there and for them to tell me they won't they won't offload me because I'm too late or something. So I'll uh, I'll give them a phone call uh, on the way. But yeah, we've got to have a break. We've either got to because I'm on driving time wise. I'm on nearly three hours driving time now for today. So I've got to get a break in here if I'm sitting around doing nothing, or get a break in on the way down. If I get a break in on the way down, I stand a chance then of going straight there, loading, well, unloading, and then go straight back to the yard. If I get a break in here, then I'd, I'll make it to my delivery tomorrow, uh, tonight, sorry, but I'll have to have another 45 before I get back home again. So that's the uh, the situation I'm in at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm going to maybe need to have two breaks. They're the blocks that we're getting loaded with as well, so I think it might be double stacked all the way along the bed. H&H &H gate, HDVs only, just the way we go in. Oh, gate two, doesn't tell me what gate I need on my paperwork. Ah, oh, that's a required by the looks of it. Ah, oh, that's... Oh wow, this looks busy. Everyone's looking. Everyone's looking at me. So hopefully I've not done something wrong by parking here. No idea, never been here before. Right, 
Uh, like I said, it looks like I need to get all that on. Uh, goggles as well by the looks of it. Keep putting it into driving, not, not turning the engine off. Right, <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, right, we've just been loaded. I know, I look like an idiot. So we've got blocks on, they're all strapped up. Uh, I haven't got, I haven't got uh, long to go, so I'm just gonna have to go and strap all this up now because I need to get a move on. I'm running out of time. I'm not sure if it's gonna get delivered tonight or not. See you in a bit. Okay, right. Hello, Mr. DVSA, traffic enforcer. Hi. <laughs> Um, right, so situation is this, so sorry, my microphone wasn't very uh, good earlier, my battery ran out on it and stuff, so yes, we uh, we turned up to where we just went and um, went in and he asked if I'd been inducted and I said, no mate, I have not been inducted because I do not lie, no point in saying you've been indu inducted somewhere if you haven't. Um, so he said, all right, yeah, you need to be inducted. I said, okay, no problem, but what do you want me to sign? So he goes, all right. He's right, you need to go out of this yard, turn left. I said, okay, well, get back in my truck and drive something. He goes, yeah, yeah. Go out of the yard, turn left, go over the train track, keep following your nose, turn left at the end of the road at the T-junction, then go straight over the hill, over the traffic lights, and blah, 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 turn right, and Creek Keedwells is over there. I said, right, okay. I said, what, like, uh, how far away is that? He goes, about two miles. I said, right, okay. So I had to phone my boss up and tell him, and, you know, go and do it and blah 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 and literally all it was is signing a bit of paper and then I spent £2.50 on a chin strap because I require a chin strap luckily I had £3 on me in change don't normally carry change um, or cash there's no point I just use card everywhere but luckily I had £3 otherwise I wouldn't know wouldn't know what I had to do or would have done so yes I uh, went back and um, went in again and said right yeah I've been inducted now mate blah 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 told me what to do, where to go, and yeah, not too bad. But it was very blunt, uh, to be fair. Um, quite rude, I would say, but I didn't take too much notice of it. And then I come back, eventually got loaded, strapped down, went back, got weighed out, uh, and it's a different bloke on the Ray Bridge, um, or whatever you want to call it, the goods out area. And he was, he was looking after someone coming in. And the bloke coming in, this was the driver coming in, he was trying to make a conversation with him and, and you know, normal stuff like talking about the weather and stuff like this and the bloke signing the paperwork was just outright blanking him like he could not care less what that driver was saying he was absolutely ignoring him i was like and i thought at the time so that's that's bloody rude like i was thinking that to myself so eventually he gets around to me and he's, he starts serving me and i know he's not a talkative bloke based on the conversation i've just heard but i said to him I said out of interest mate what time does this place close and he was just like you what and I said, yeah, out of interest, mate, what time does this place close, just for future reference? Oh, depends. And, like, that was it. And I was like, it's just, there's just no customer service there whatsoever. But, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't matter. We're loaded now. We're, um, unfortunately, not going to make the delivery. We're going to get to Malmesbury, uh, sorry, not Malmesbury, Marlborough, at 10 to 5. And uh, they don't take delivery in, well, they don't take deliveries after 4pm. 4, 4 I know this because I've delivered it before, but I phoned them up anyway and I double checked. Um, I actually told them I was going to be there at half past four, so even though I'm going to be there at 10 to 5. Just, just to help my chances of getting offloaded tonight. And they said, no, sorry, unfortunately we're short staffed. We, uh, we don't tip after four o'clock, pure and simple. I said, okay. I said, I noticed on the paperwork it says you don't take deliveries until 10 a.m. So I, but I said, I really need this off my back because obviously it's going to hold me back for tomorrow. I said, is there any chance I can come in at seven? I said, no, unfortunately, we're, like I said, we're short-staffed, but we'd try and get it off for you at 8 o'clock. I said, okay, 8 o'clock, spot on, thank you very much. And then they said, oh, make it half past 8. I said, okay, half 8, half 8. So that's the plan, deliver it tomorrow for half past 8. But I might have to do something else first, I don't know. Unfortunately, you're not going to see. That's going to be the end of uh, this video. I did plan on it being one video, my trip to Scotland and back, but it's turned out to be quite an event for a uh, couple of days. Three days, actually, this is the third day. So um, what I'm going to do is split these videos into two. Um, and that way, you know, I get more views, more money. <laughs> no, it's just, I don't, want, I don't want to have videos that are too long. I think 40 minutes, 45 minutes, no more, no more than that, really. So we'll see how, um, how this video turns out in terms of, uh, in terms of time.
But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We've got a 135 mile journey back now to the yard, about two and a half hours. And uh, I've already done an hour and a half almost since, uh, since I left that place. So yeah, it's about a four hour drive back. So yes, not too shabby. So yeah, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Drive safe, stay safe. Uh, and I will see you soon. I've enjoyed my trip to Scotland. I hope you have enjoyed these last couple of videos. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.